Let's take a look at how we add bookmarks to Chrome. Bookmarks are great because you probably, like me, have tons of websites or files that you go to on a regular basis, but you don't want to have to take the time to remember the exact link or address or just can't do that. Or maybe they're specific to your school district, and so it's hard to keep up with all of those. Bookmarks are an easy way to make sure that you always have those. And once you're signed into Chrome, remember that bookmarks are synced across all your devices. So let's talk about how we create a bookmark or add a bookmark. So all my bookmarks are actually located up here. And if I want to add a bookmark, there's two ways I can do this. So I'm going to go to this website. So I want to bookmark this website. I can actually just click on this little star button. It's going to load it up here. It's going to have the name and then it's going to ask me where do I want this to go? Do I want it to just show up on my bookmarks bar or do I already have a folder that I want it to go in? So I'm just going to put it in my bookmarks bar. The other thing that you can do is you can, if you don't want it to have a big long name, you can change the name of it. So if I just want to change the name of it to um, Nat Geo Kids to make it shorter, I can do that and I'm going to hit done. And now my site is bookmarked. If it doesn't show up along here, because maybe you have a ton of things like me already bookmarked, you can click on these two little arrows and drop down and you'll see right here is my Nat Geo Kids website that I just bookmarked. The other way that you can bookmark items is you can simply go up here in where we can see the web link for this and I can click on the little lock which is showing that this is the site information and that it is a secure and I can just click and drag and I can drag that down here and I can pop it in there and now if I click you can see that right here I have that item bookmarked now. So those are two ways that you can bookmark items. The other thing you can do, and I have a lot of these, is maybe you have several links that kind of fall into the same category. And so you can actually create folders and put all of those links in there. And that's what I have here is a bunch of folders that have similar links in them. You can just right click up there in the bar and you can click add folder. You can name that folder and hit save. And when you do that, that folder will appear there. And then you can drag links into there if you already have them bookmarked. Or as you get new bookmarks, you can place them in that folder. If you want to have more bookmarks along your bar up here, and you know what the little icon, so if a lot of websites have a little icon um, or logo that goes with them, if you know what that logo is, you can shorten your bookmark so you don't have that word out beside it. So I've right clicked on this link here and I'm gonna click, oops, I'm gonna click edit. And I can actually go up here and just remove the name of it and hit save. And now I've got the little icon still there for Moby Max, but it doesn't have the words there anymore. If I decide I don't want this bookmarked anymore, I can again just hit right click and delete and I've removed that bookmark because I don't need it anymore. So I strongly encourage you to use bookmarks, bookmark those websites that you use often and know what you called them so that you can go back and find them later. And if you have a bunch of them, organize them into folders so that they'll be easy to find.